So today, this is a piece I'm gonna reveal, well, you probably know by now, um, what the container project is to do with all this. Uh, also, I've got a bar I need to finish, uh, wedding bar, events, bar, whatnot. Started it last year as a project and it kind of got pushed into a corner because no one needed a wedding bar because COVID and all that. Um, but I need to get that going again, so we'll get that out, show you all about it. Uh, and carry on a few bits I need to do. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning Holly! So I'm just in the field of rape at the moment. Big breakdown. That's it. Wow. It's a drill working there. There goes Percy. Hopefully he'll quickly munch that before all the cows round about him come in and chew it up. Quick overview of the container project. Pizza oven going at that end. This door folds open. There's going to be a countertop there to serve over. There's going to be a refrigerated unit there to make pizzas and whatnot on the surface. The whole place is getting lined, waiting on the joiner. They've not arrived yet. Starting to wind me up. Um, other than that, needs electricity, needs lights, the lining. This door needs to be made, and then we need to figure out how to make pizzas. So if you know, put it down in the comments. Pizza oven, just starting to take the box apart. We'll get her unpacked, and then we need to go through a curing process. So she needs to be at 150 degrees for about four hours, just to do the final dry of the base, the concrete base and the surroundings as well. Now we get the forklift, make it a bit easier. That's another use of the forklift that has nothing to do with farming, but glad we have it. So there it is, it's out of the box. Just going to have a look inside. There's casters for the bottom of it. Uh, there's a few various bits and bobs inside just to look through, check over, and then it needs to start the curing process. I'll put the wheels on it so I can roll it about a wee bit. But casters, pretty beefy casters. The whole unit weighs somewhere in the region of 350 kilo, I think. Um, it's kind of mostly the refractory and the cement base which caused that weight. Um, these will just be on it for now. I think we'll take them off once it's in place uh, in the container, but they'll do for now. This is the pizza oven. Big. I reckon I could get in there. Not gonna give it a try, but it is some size. Just gonna start uh, the process of curing it. So just setting up a fire in there. I meant to use fire starters, but I'll just use a blowtorch for now. Get it fired up, get it up to 150 degrees or there or thereabouts and let it run for four hours. And um, that should dry out. The base will still have a bit of moisture there refractory and about it, it'll still have a wee bit of moisture so just to draw all that out not cause any heat shock and um, not to dry it too quickly and cause it to crack so that's why we're doing that <laughs> So 
just getting going at the moment. It's very smoky because these aren't the right logs. We need to get some more dried, fully dried out logs. The smoke should reduce. But it's just starting to get going. We're coming up out the flue soon. And we'll keep an eye on the temperature gauge. Starting to smoke up the chimney now, up the flue. There's an adjustment, so this will control kind of airflow coming up the flue, and that'll in turn control temperature through this slider. We're starting to head up the way now in temperature. It's taking a wee bit of fiddling about. And you can see there's a bit of moisture just on the inside walls. And that comes from one, there's moisture in the actual unit is still to burn off. And two, these logs, uh, they're just logs we've cut last year. So they've not been properly dried out. So we'll get a supply of decently dried out logs. We know um, someone who's got a big drying floor who dries a lot of logs. So we'll get them to take a selection of logs and kind of blitz them, make them really crisp and dry. And the fire should then quickly reach temperature and there'll be less moisture and should be less smoke. So we're now, now at 150. You can see the moisture dripping off it. So that's uh, all the moisture that's been in the refractory and the base. Um, so that's it all kind of oozing out now. So we'll leave it another few hours to do that, keep drying out. It might take a few cycles to do that, but we need to get the moisture out of it and then it's good to go, good to attempt to cook pizza and shove it in the container. So these boards, um, I've made up three of them. There's one here and uh, two up the top there. Uh, I've still got two to make. Um, but these are the outside of a wedding bar. Um, I started a project last year doing that, but basically got stopped because there wasn't any point in making any wedding bars because COVID was finished. COVID was not finished, COVID was getting going. But now COVID's kind of ending. I need to get this finished um, before the end of July. So I'm just making a start on this board, I've got two more boards to make. The two boards up there are complete. Uh, these are basically the edges, uh, the front edge of the bar. It's a hexagonal shape uh, with five sides filled and one open to get in and out. That's it nice and sanded. I don't really like the colour it comes up with various stains, oil varnishes, so I'm not varnishing and oiling it. Uh, I'm just burning it, actually. So, propane torch here. I've got a big, wide uh, burner on the end of it. Uh, and then I'll just sit at quite a distance from it and kind of give it a light, a light burn over the surface. Comes up fairly nice for the pattern. Um, I prefer that to the actual sta stained look, so do that to this now. Phone ran out of storage, anyway. So that's it burnt. Um, you can see kind of the grain kind of comes up a bit more after you burn it. So this piece is, well, it's not quite finished. Need to put some tabs on the top end. Um, I'll need to show you the frame, how it works. I'll, next time I've got it out, I'll explain all how it works. I'll do a drawing. I'll show up in this first. I was going to ask uh, the quiz question, what was this, but I need to use it, so it's uh, engineering chalk, or French chalk it's called. Allows you to, well, for in this case, draw in metal. I think you can use it for other stuff. Right, so this is my bar. So this piece here is this section. So I've got five of them. This gap's going to be left open. Um, and what I'm doing just now, so I've made a frame and that's steel all the way around these edges and um, which is made of this section. So then I'm making these hooks. They will sit on the end of this and they'll hook over the top of this. So I can then take my sheet here, hook it on top of this piece, just like that, all the way around. I'll secure the base of it as well. And um, it just means it can be assembled and um, disassembled really quickly.
So that's this panel finished, other than cutting a bevel on the corners um, so they line up nice with the other panels, but I'll do that once they're all fitted up together. Need to cut a 60 degree um, bevel. On to my second panel today, um, but I need to go and check on the pizza oven. I've just fired it up again, I'm gonna try and get it to a bit of a higher temperature tonight. I've not got proper dried logs for it yet. I've got slightly drier logs tonight. So I should be able to get it a wee bit higher, but I need to get some uh, seriously dried woods, uh, logs. Hardwood um, seems to be the best for these ovens. Hardwood should burn for longer and it should burn a lot cleaner and be able to reach that higher temperature. Tried the fire again tonight with a uh, bit drier wood, so we got up to 250. I wasn't thinking it was going to get that hot actually, but it's done pretty well. Looks good. So. Leave it at that for another cycle um, and then we'll need to find some just packing up in here for the night but question of the day what is the name of this there's another one behind it really easy one a lot of you should get that 